Hey, listeners, today's daily dose of leadership comes from a recent experience I had. And as you'll hear in the story, it definitely is a facilitation tip, but it also serves as an important reminder in any relationship in our lives. I was participating with my team in this development experience, and the facilitator did 95% of the talking, maybe even more. And it had been marketed to us as an opportunity for our dynamic team to really pour into ourselves, to do some real work. But instead, what we ended up doing was listening to this guy that we didn't know at all tell us what to do for over an hour. So not surprising, it was really awful and didn't connect at all. He hadn't done any research on us or our business or the work that we did because he was telling us the same things that we encourage clients to do every single day. And it just didn't connect. He didn't make the connection. He didn't meet us where we were. We wanted the advanced, challenging course. We wanted to dig in together. And he gave us his perspective. It's such a an important reminder of how critical it is any time that we're wanting to connect with someone or engage with someone new to first seek to understand where they are to build connection first. Because then and only then can we align our message to where they are, align it in a way that really does connect with them. In other words, as my friends Brad and Leslie Dozier say, Connect before you correct in any relationship. Resist the urge to tell someone what you think or your perspective or advise them if you haven't taken the time to identify where they are to connect with them. How presumptuous and arrogant for us to think that we know what people need to hear. So here's to connecting first today before advising or correcting. What a great way to take care of the people you serve.